I'm going to go over the process of creating an Active Directory password policy and then deploying it using Group Policy. So to start, I'm logged on to my domain controller and then I'll go to Tools and then Group Policy Management. Within Group Policy Management, we should have a default domain policy. And if you go to Settings and then Show All, you should be able to see your existing Active Directory password policy, uh, which is under Computer Configuration and then here. So by default, uh, these can vary depending on when your domain was created and what was the Microsoft standard at the time. But to edit this, we can right click the default domain policy and go to edit. And then go to computer configuration and then policies, Windows settings, security settings, and then account policies, and then the password policy. So the main ones you want to check is that the password must meet complexity requirements. Make sure this is enabled. So what this will do is um, this will make sure that three of the four character sets are used in a password and the character sets are uppercase, lowercase, digits and special characters. So it'll make sure that you have to have at least three of those four. So there's no way to set it to having all four. So you can't require all four of them without using third party tools. Uh, so you want to make sure that is enabled and then some of the other ones you can change is the password length so by default this is generally set to seven characters but what i do is i just up this to the maximum which is 14 characters so you can have it more than 14 characters so you can set it to up to 128 characters but to do that you need to enable the relax minimum password length limits so if you define this as enabled that let you set passwords up to 128 characters but that uh, can cause issues with applications that are using either like single sign-on or seamless sign-on if they don't support more than 14 characters being pulled pulled across. And another one you can change is the maximum password age. By default, this is set to 42 days. What you can do is you can set this up to 999 days, or if you specify it as zero, it'll change it to the password will never expire. And then if you want, you can change some of the other ones, such as the password age. So by default, it's one day. So that means if someone changes the password, it's generally used in conjunction with the password history. So when a password expires, it stops someone changing the password 24 times, one after the other, and then going back to their same old password. And then the last one you want to check is the account lockout policy. So by default, this is disabled. But what you can do is enable an account lockout threshold. So if someone puts a incorrect password in for an account, however many times, so I generally set this to four. So if someone puts a password in incorrectly four times in a row, what it'll do is it'll lock their account for a duration of time. By default, it locks it for 30 minutes and then automatically unlocks it. However, what you can do is set it to zero so then if an account gets locked out for bad passwords, an administrator has to then unlock it. But I generally just leave this as 30 minutes. So now we've configured these settings, what we can do is close the group policy management editor and then right click our domain controllers and then go to group policy update. And then we can go to yes. And what this will do is this will just initiate a group policy update on all of the domain controllers to pull down this new policy. Now that that's been pushed, we can just go back and show all. If we refresh, we should be able to see that the set the changes we made are now reflected in the group policy. So to test this, what you can do is go to your Active Directory. Well, before we do that, if you just force a group policy update just to make sure. just to make sure that it does actually pull this new policy down. There we go. So if I go to Active Directory Users and Computers and then pick a user and then try and reset the password to something that doesn't meet the requirements. So if I just do a just has three of the, sorry, only two of the four types of characters. So this has just got a lowercase and a number. If I go OK, I'll get an error to say that it doesn't meet the minimum requirements. And then I can just go back and reset. Uh, so I can do a longer password. Oh. 
And there we go, that's been changed because that's made the minimum of 14. Just something to note when making these changes is that these changes won't invalidate anyone's password. It'll only come into effect when a user initiates a password change and then it tries to save that password. It'll check that it makes sure it meets the minimum requirements. That is how to create a password policy using group policy and then deploying it to all of the user accounts within the network.